morning, good morning. Welcome back to, to Escape, Escape Forever Free. Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Faith. Here, Here we, we are, are teaming together, together one more time to restore, to work together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Now, this is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. Of course, it is aimed at helping us as we work together, stepping out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. So we invite you to join us. Please grab your 1888 edition of the Great Controversy along with your King James Version of the Bible. We invite you to prayerfully consider if you don't have such a program in your life also to subscribe and join us for this support. We're going to pray and advance into today's um, presentation. And we do hope at the end of it you will also continue for one hour you and God alone as this pushes you into that um, one hour alone time. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much, so much for your gifts of love and life. We thank you for the opportunity to pray and ask for the forgiveness of our sins. We thank you for the opportunity of life once more to forgive those who sinned against us. We thank you for the opportunity, Father, to again once more represent you upon this earth help us to be faithful in all of these things and even as we come now before you we pray that you'll feed us with manna from heaven as we seek to draw nearer to you and to prepare ourselves to join you in the new jerusalem that you're preparing for us in Jesus' name amen all right so now let's go into our memory text our memory text this week has been coming to us from mark 8 and verse 34 and it says, And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Again, Mark 8 verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. We pray God help us to commit this to memory in due season, to glorify his name and to edify souls, even over our own souls. So we're going to go into 1888, Great Controversial Reading. We are at chapter 32 snares of satan and we'll be picking up this morning where we left off so we're going to go at page 528 paragraph 3 that's 528.3 in your book let us start together the followers of christ know little of the plots which satan and his host are forming against them but when he who sitteth in heaven in the heavens will overrule all these devices from the accomplishment of his deep design sorry but he who sitteth in the heavens will overrule all these devices for the accomplishment of his deep design the lord permits his people to be subjected to the fiery ordeal of temptation not because he takes pleasure in their distress and affliction but because, his, because this process is essential to their final victory, he could not consistently with his own glory shield them, shield them from temptation. For the very object of the trial is to prepare them to resist all the allurements of evil. Neither wicked men nor devils can hinder the work of God or shut out his presence from his people. If they will, with subdued contrite hearts, confess and put away their sins and in faith claim his promises. I hope we got that. It says neither wicked men nor devils can hinder the work of God or shut out his presence from his people if we will with subdued contrite hearts confess and put away our sins and in faith claim his promises 
we continue to read every temptation every opposing influence whether open or secret may be successfully resisted what a powerful message let's read also zechariah 4 and verse 6 as it pertains to this message it reads then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit said the lord of hosts so the eyes so the eyes the lord no let us actually stop there for today as we um when we come tomorrow we will go to those other readings as we actually prepare to wrap up this chapter chapter 32 that we're in we'll stop there for today so let's go to our reflection hymn hymn number 595 let every lamp be burning is our hymn of reflection and we're gonna do stanza three together this morning his word our lamp his truth our guide we cannot be mistaken though dangers rise on every side we shall not be forsaken then trim your lamps my brethren dear then trim your lamps with godly fear the master's coming draweth near let every lamp be burning amen let us pray as we close this segment together and you will now continue for your one hour alone time with god <clears throat> holy and righteous father thank you so much for this another day that we have spent together thank you for your holy spirit's guidance as we receive and digest these beautiful messages promising us sure victory if we rem remain sub subdued to you and we resist evil through prayerful and purposeful join purposefully join nearer to you to have our lives fully surrendered and our hearts and mind clean clean and pure so we can receive power and defense from an a high which can keep us from falling father may none of us here who so desire and that includes myself be left out from this promise, I pray, so that when you come to receive us, we'll all be ready and waiting with rejoicing. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. God bless you, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and joining us one more time as we team together to restore physical, mental, spiritual and social wholeness please stick to the blueprint it is our shore road map into the new jerusalem so god bless you and please do now continue for one hour you and god alone god bless you <music>